Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you all how I scan a CT coronary angiogram and come up with this fantastic image of the heart, which shows the three main arteries. First would be the RCA, which is the right coronary artery. Second would be the LAD or the left anterior descending artery. And third artery would be the left circumflex or the LCX. So sit back and watch the entire video. Hoping you will learn something after this. Thank you. We are going to use our Canon Achillion 1 Genesis 640 Slice CT. This machine is great for scanning carjacks due to its large detector size and speed that can acquire high radiographic image of the heart in whatever heart rate a patient has. Now let's begin by choosing the calcium scoring protocol just to determine blockage or narrowing of the arteries due to buildup of plaque or calcium deposits. And this is our protocol for the calcium scoring. And if you've noticed guys, our patient is having an ectopic heartbeat or irregular heartbeat which may cause a suboptimal scan. Let's begin by doing our dual scanogram which is the AP and lateral view. It is recommended to always have a two different reference view since this machine is using an automatic KV and MS technology, it can calculate the proper radiation dose for the patient depending on what body size it detects on your scanogram. Now let's plan our scan by putting our yellow box in the middle of the heart. After that, let's do the breathing exercise just to let the machine determine what range of heart rate and pace to get the scan. And remember, the machine won't let you proceed with the scan unless you do this breathing exercise for the patient. And guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you. After you've done the breathing exercise, press confirm and proceed with the calcium scoring scan. After the calcium scoring, the cardiologist will decide if the calcium score of the patient is within the range to proceed with the cardiac scan. And for our patient, the cardiologist said it's okay to proceed with the CT coronary angiogram. After finishing the scan, just press quit exam and choose the cardiac prospective CTA protocol for the cardiac scan. And this is the scan sequence that we are using for our CT coronary angiograms. And now let's plan our scan. First sequence which is the SNV or scan and view, place it on the widest part of the heart and the second SNV will automatically copy the first one along with the sure start so don't worry about it. After that, plan the volume scan by placing the yellow box in the middle of the heart. Don't worry about collimating it for now because we'll do that as we go along with the planning. Now click recon details and go to volume 3. This is the lung window which is important for our radiologist to check any lung pathology so let's now collimate it a bit. And after that, click the breathing exercise icon just to let the machine determine what heartbeat and scan phases to use during the acquisition. As you can see guys, patient is having an irregular heartbeat or ectopic heartbeat which may cause a motion artifact on the scan. And these are the phases and beat segment that the machine choose for the scan. But we are not using this so we are going to manually change parameters as per our cardiologist's choice. First, we are going to change beat segment from 2 beats to 1 beat only. So we can scan the whole heart in one rotation or we call it 1 beat 1 scan. 
and then change the cardiac phase parameters to 70% up to 80% phases. After doing all that, click confirm and scan all your SNVs. After scanning the first SNV, click vary and collimate your planning into the heart. Make sure you cover the descending aorta as well. Then click recon and press OK. Then click confirm and scan your second SNB which will give you the image for your bolus tracking parameters or your sure start. After scanning your second SNV for the sure start, place your ROI into the descending aorta and set 200HU into the threshold and press confirm. While waiting, these are the flow rate and contrast volume we are using with our power injector. Now let's begin injecting the contrast and pressing scan as well. The machine will delay 10 seconds before scanning the sure start. And when it reaches the 200 HU that we set, it will now wait for the right heart rate before scanning the patient. And that's it, the scan is finished. We can now press stop rotate and then quit exam. And these are the images of the heart that we got from a patient with an ectopic heart rate. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall First time